Well, hello everybody. It's Cool Groove. We're at Chicago Lane in NASCAR Heat 5. Uh, normally I do my uh, uh, qualifying lap, but I completely spaced out and did it. And I almost started this race and realized, oh wait, I forgot to hit the record button. Durr. So here we are. We were qualified 37th. I was able to upgrade it to where my car is 85 all the way across the board. Hope you're all having a good day. Hope you like what you're seeing. If you do, hit the like button and um, hopefully I earn a subscription. Every little bit helps. Still seeming to have issues with losing the the draft though luckily I'm not dead last and it doesn't seem like I'm I'm just outside of the draft but I'm not a half a lap back like I've had been in races past so there's good signs that this our team is improving Got a little, little better. Still need a top 20, and it doesn't take 10 laps to get caught up to the field. And I'm certainly able to pass people. Here we are. We're battling. I'm getting held up by this. Reagan here and if this is the same Reagan he is no longer Rick drives and he's part of the Fox Sports broadcast team there's Suarez who won Sonoma becoming the fifth person ever not born in the US to win a NASCAR race We have a decent car finally. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. I am so excited that I'm losing my mind. I'm extra happy today uh, because in my real life, uh, I love my current job. But I found me a second job that I hope to like even more because it's going to pay so much more so that will take a ton of bricks of worry off my back and hopefully me and my family can get ahead and I can get some better equipment to do better YouTube videos so one step at a time but it's okay to dream and plan and organize your thoughts and be uh, optimistic instead of pessimistic. I think that's what's wrong with our world today. We're, they're too pessimistic. They're too busy looking at what's bad or what used to be bad instead of and missing out what's a really, really good about the world and what is really good happening now. Well, you can tell we're getting to the end of the stage. Um, I don't know if you're paying attention, but if you see my saw my car there in that turn, my rear end is just uh, rocking back and forth. I'm not getting the uh, any vibration in the controller, but. I feel like a couple more laps and I may be in danger of wiping out, especially if I get too close to that apron. So I'm just going to ride this middle groove and avoid that. It even seems to give me some uh, momentum and cut up with the rest of this, this little pack of cars. 
Joey Gase, you do not deserve to be ahead of me. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to hit you, but you're a back marker. You're not a middle of the pack car. He's not even in it because I think the boss's son took over that ride. Cody Ware, the what a moron. Busher, he almost had a chance to win. But these new cars, it's impossible to pass. But those next gen cars. Someone is going into the pit. Don't know if it's an engine or if it's a. Oops, sorry, Newman. No, 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 no. Don't get on that apron. Yeah, take the high side. Oh, so green flag pets are happening. Um, four laps. 25% wear on the right. Oh, well. Wow, a caution took up four laps. Well, I got a top ten. And I don't have to worry about green flag pits. And I even gain a spot in my pit. Sweet. Way to go, pit crew. We got William B, Ryan Blaney, Eric Jones surrounded me. Poor Eric, he was having a bad day at Sonoma on Sunday. He couldn't keep his car on the track. What's Corey LaJoy flirting with the top 10 for? You can tell this is a game. That's not realistic whatsoever. And even Jimmy Johnson, that was unrealistic. Oh, well, now I guess I'm in the 16th now, so. Because. Oh, Tyler Reddick. Get off of me, McDowell! Oh, wait a minute. I just now remembered. Even though it was... <laughs> I accidentally put them in the wrong order. Because I recorded them, then I edited them, and I got them mixed around. But uh, Joey Gase and Brad K are rivals. So I'm going to blame more Joey Gase than Brad because, in hindsight, Brad had no place to go after Joey spun me. So. And I don't remember if I got him back in the last episode. I'm not going to go out of my way to wreck him. Maybe give him a love tap. A little tap, tap, tap. Tap, 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 tap. tap. Alright, here we go. Starting. Starting to get some forward bite here to where I'm actually gaining ground instead of losing it. Spin house in Kansas. I'm going to pit because I noticed that my uh, 
right front was 20% lower than the rest of the car. So this should get me to the end. Barring no more cautions. And as you can see, the tire advantage is working because I went from 30, what, 7th? I'm now up to 26th in less than two laps. And I got Hoff blocking. There we go. Ah, oh, lost a bunch of momentum. Here we go. Let's go. I really think I may have a top 10 car today. I think I can get better than a top 20. Sorry, Bowman! No! Didn't want to do that! Get off the apron! Get off the apron! Whew. That really lost some momentum. Alright, we got what, four laps, five laps left. I broke the top ten. And I got my tire wears a little bit better. Barring a caution, uh, I believe green flag pits may be starting soon. Maybe they'll go green, go to the checkered. We will see. Four laps to go. Yep, here we go. Pit stops are happening. Which will in let me inherit the lead. And should give me the much needed stage win. And it looks like Kyle Busch just pitted. But whoever was in front of me, uh, Joey Logano stayed out. So, either he pitted when I pitted, or he may be pitting next lap by. Though it looks like I'm fixing to catch up with him, so. Yep, there he goes, he's pitting. And, which is weird because. We're coming up to the last lap. Why? Uh, they said he was pitting and he's not. That's been, that's been happening a lot lately. They'll say the car in front of you is pitting. And they never pit. Did he run out of gas? Let's go, stage man. So 
so somehow these three cars in front of me didn't pit or was able to gain so much I don't get how Joey was gonna pit but he didn't pit ran out of gas and was able to gain 10 spots and along with Ryan Newman and Joey Gase how did his pit crew gain him so many spots and I got Finchum behind me and another back marker this game's weird I got even Bubba Wallace flirting with the top 10 and Cole Custer give me a push Bubba Oh, get back here, Cole. We all know you're a bust. Come Thanks, here. Bubba. Come on, Fentrum, stay still. Or me stay still, jeez. trying to be clean but I'm just losing so much track position because I'm getting stuck on the top pit in about 10-15 laps so we can go to the end I got 20 laps of fuel how many laps do I have left in the race 17 so my question would be will my tires survive that long more at 11 Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We're going to drive like Jeff Cordon in a black SS. No, I'm driving a Camry. <laughs> and it's not completely black. my tires can survive and we go green I have a I'm confident because of my pit strategy we could win this I want to say anything less than the top 10 would be a disappointment Come on, Jones, push. Push it. Push it real good. Oh, I better pit. Everyone else pit. I want to stay on the same as fresh tires. Because I would get A up alive if I didn't pit. Oh, I still have plenty of time to get that top 10. It's not going to be as easy. But it doesn't surprise me that the game would throw a caution. 
If I can stay off the apron. Come on, Ellie, give me that. Give me that push. Push it real good. Dun 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 Push it real good. Spin house is trying to spin the house. And I need to get some forward bite to get that momentum to catch back up. I want that top 10 and I want that win. There we go, Timmy Hill. Come on, Timmy. Timmy, Timmy, Timmy. That's thinking with your dipstick, Timmy. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I deserve that. Some. Sorry. Oh, well. Okay, hopefully the, we had enough laps on these tires that by me getting fresh tires that I'll have plenty of laps time to pass everybody and at least get that top 20. That gamble cost me a top 10. That's on me. Here's Kozlowski. So the top 20 is in the bag. Once I get around to Haley. Alright, so I got my top 20. Now I just need to get start picking off the rest of these cars. Buddy, let's go, let's go, let's go. Get behind the draft, get the draft, get the draft. Uh, I may just just out of time to get to Amarillo. Oh, I got the top eleven. I got eleven. If I just had one more, just one more lap, I could have my top team off there. Alrighty, I have now over 3.6 million fans. I got 844,000 in the bank. I haven't been showing you guys the standings. Oh, we got the Pocono race. So, season standings. We got Denny Hamlin. Kyle Busch, Brad Kozlowski, Kevin Harvick, Kurt Busch in the top five, then Bowman, Logano, Boyer, Amarillo, and Newman rounding out the top ten. As of right now, I am 18th, and I have two wins, three stage wins, and 63 playoffs points. But if we go to the playoffs, because of those two wins, let's put me in fourth because Denny, Logano, and Amarillo both have 
as many wins. And it looks like 12th, 13th, 14th, um, the 16th. Um, so there's openings for five more winners. So let's see. Well, that's it. You'll probably you'll see me right again doing the Pocono because as you can see, um, where we go? Where am I at? Where am I at? Where am I at? See, race 19's at Pocono and race 20's at Pocono and then Pocono. So, I got back-to-back -back races at Pocono. Um, I'm going to have those as individual races. So, looking forward to that. And it looks like we have, we're literally, this is race 18 of 36. So, we're at the halfway point. We're almost there, guys. Thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for standing by by me. Um, hit that like, hit the subscribe button. Follow me on TikTok, Twitch, Instagram, and Twitter. And I will see you next time.